guys and welcome to another review by me Dan Dan the Batman. Today I'm doing a review of a Lego DC set from the Lego themed DC Comics Superheroes. So the set we're reviewing today is called the Batman the Penguin Face Off. It contains 136 pieces it's ages 5 to 12. The set number is 76010. And this retails in GBP for £11.99. Check Brickopedia out for all the other prices. Okay, so first of all, we'll have a little look at the box. So the box itself is very nice. Uh, you've got all the the contents of the set, you've got Batman attacking Penguin, you've got the Batman logo, one of the best logos ever made for the Batman theme. Uh, you've got all the details about the set, got the penguins, got the new Batman minifig, which we'll talk about when we come to looking at the set. That detail. And on the back it's really good, you've got all the functions of the set, such as the flip miss flick missiles, and got them fighting and all the stuff. And zoom! Yeah. Okay, and let's have a little quick look at the manual. The manual contains 31 pages of building, no mistakes, in the manual whatsoever. It also includes adverts for sets for the Lego Movie and for Lego DC Comics, all the other sets you can buy. I'm thinking of getting one or two of these sets. Okay, so now let's look at the set. Okay, so first up we've got, Ar uh, not Arctic Batman, Scuba Batman, and he comes with his harpoon gun, he also comes with an oxygen tank, and if we take off the helmet, or the cowl as it's called, let's have a look at the head. So th that's his head with all the, like, the, his mask on, and he's got a double-sided head, as do m most, if not all, of the Batman figures. He's got his usual serious face. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off his head, so we can take off this tank piece, which is a nice piece to have. And the harpoon gun. Let's have a little look at the detail. Let's put a head on back on. Put his head back on. Ooh. Okay. So let's have a look. So you've got the Batman logo on there. You've got more detailing of like the the bell and the nice detail in the suit. On we've got some back printing as well, which is very nice. He also comes with some flippers, which are detachable. And I'll show you how you can attach them to the vehicle once we get to looking at the scooper vehicle for which Batman has in the set. So overall, a very nice figure to have. And I believe this is exclusive to this set. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below if I am. But I'm pretty sure this is exclusive to this set currently. And last but not least, we have the Penguin. Now, this Penguin minifigure is probably my favourite figure out of the entire set. So, this variation of the Penguin is based on the Penguin, what we see in the film directed by Tim Burton called Batman Returns, which is a very good Batman film, a lot better than some of the later films, what they released for the franchise. It, uh, well, obviously the Dark Knight trilogy is fantastic, but the other two aren't as, as good after this film, which was Batman Returns. Uh, so let's have a look at the detail of the Penguin. Well, I have to say, very good detail. You've got the nice fur coat, which he has in the film. Uh, he's got, obviously he's got the short legs, he's got like nice detail in the buttons and everything. And if we turn him around, he's got some nice back print to him. And the penguin comes with quite a few accessories. Uh, he comes with his remote control, which he uses to activate the penguins down there, which I'll show you in a minute. He also comes with his trademark black umbrella, uh, which is nice. I've always wanted to get this piece because I'm sure there's loads of mock builders out there who could make all sorts of contraptions for the penguin to use. And he also comes with a hat, a black hat. One of, this is the first time I've ever got this piece. And the face is very good. You've got the monocle on his eye. He's got a bit of a, bit of a chin. 
<laughs> right, now let's have a little look at the Before we look into the set, forgot to mention, uh, you do get two penguin minions. Uh, these are a little bit different to the ones which they released in the Lego Batman theme from a few years back, namely because they don't really they don't come with like a pistol or anything. They actually come with sticks of dynamite, which can easily be detached. And they clip onto a little clip there. They've got this red antennae, supposedly because they're under remote control by the penguin, because he's got that remote control contr device where he's holding. And the, this is a very good micro build. If anyone wants to know how to make these, let me know, because I can do a how-to video, how to make video. And so you get two of them, which is nice. I suppose if you bought a bundle of these on eBay, you could have like an army of penguins, which would be cool. I would like to do that. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, very nice penguins to have. This is also a nod to the Batman Returns movie at the end of the film. Spoilers. Uh, but the penguin has like all these real penguins uh, attached to like rockets and dynamite and he's planning to, I can't remember now, but I haven't seen the film in ages, he's trying to destroy Gotham, usual thing, but a very good scene. Uh, def it's I think Batman Returns is probably one of the da more darker Lego Bat, not Lego Batman, Batman films they've released. Obviously the Dark Knight trilogy is very dark, but yeah. Okay, now let's look properly at the set. Okay, so first vehicle we're going to have a look at is Batman's scuba vehicle. Now, th this doesn't have a name. I'm just going to call it the scuba vehicle. It could be anything. Uh, you've got a Batman logo here, which is not a sticker. There are no stickers in this set, which is one of the things what I like about the set. Because as you know, I'm not a fan of stickers. So you've got nice detailing, like with the control stick, I suppose. Uh, you've got two flick missiles, which actually are very good because they, you've got enough room to put your finger there so you can flick. And I'll just do a demonstration. There you go. So it goes, fires quite fast. All right, then we'll do the other one. There you go. So, and as you know, they can easily be fit back in. And we'll have a little look at the flick missile. It's basic. And we've got on the back, there's a space for Batman to put his harpoon gun. Uh, just to point out, there are no batarangs in this set. Thought I'd let you know that. Uh, you've got these nice purple pieces. You get four of them. And that's so you can, like, Pose them on the ground, like you know, pretend that he's on ice, which is what obviously what's taken from more water. And got a nice, can't remember what those things are called on the back of a vehicle, but doesn't matter. So nice, you got this here, which you could, I suppose, get one of those fire pieces if you've got the Lego Batwing set from two years ago. Uh, that that came with like a fire piece, I suppose if. You click this into the back of this, you can pretend it's like a rocket or something. I don't know. That would be cool. Let me know if you are going to do that. Uh, so, overall, a uh, very nice vehicle for Batman. It's a lot better than some of his other vehicles he's had in the past. I know we've had... Um, oh, what were they? They've had, like, the Bat Dragster, which is all right, I suppose. A bit lame. Uh, but... I still think this is a nice vehicle and it was a fun build and before we go on to the last vehicle let's have a look with and see what it looks like with Batman holding on to the, his bat vehicle. Okay so here we have Batman on his bat vehicle or scuba vehicle. Just to point out the flippers you can't put the flippers on when he's on here because they could get in the way and they could easily fall off so what I've done and some of you may have done this or want to know how to display him without putting the flippers at the side on your like shelf or whatever is if you put your flippers on the bottom you could perhaps put them out like that and it gives a nice effect uh, let me know if that's helpful but that's what I've been doing when I've been displaying it but the Batman figure can easily just fit on there and 
I, can't, I haven't checked, but I'm sure you can fit him on there with when he's got his cape. You don't get a, a cape with this set, before I'd let you know. So now let's look at the final vehicle in the set. Okay, so the final vehicle in the set is the Penguin's Duck Boat, which I have to say is a very, very nice build. It's a lot smaller because this appears in the Batman Returns movie as well, right towards the end of the film, or middle towards the end. And it's based on, because in the film this is like from an old fairground ride, and it was like a, I think it was like a boat, well, I hint why it's called a duck boat, I think it was like some sort of ride, which obviously was closed down. But the Penguin uses this, I think, once or twice in the movie, uh, the duck itself is very nicely detailed. Obviously, it's a vehicle. It's not a real duck. I suppose if you put some like yellow bricks inside here, you could pretend it's a real duck. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got flick missiles on either side. On each side, rather. You've also got a propeller at the back, which spins round. Got these two orange stud pieces, which I take are supposed to be lights. Uh, as mentioned, you pre as I've just mentioned, you do get two flick missiles on each side. Like with the scuba vehicle or Batman's vehicle, the flick missiles really do like work properly in this set. Like if you like, like with some of the previous Star Wars and Batman sets, you really have to get your finger in there to try and flick the missile because they never give you enough space, especially in the Lego Agent sets released a few years ago. Um, like, for instance, if I try and flick it, see, it goes pretty far. I mean, obviously, smaller kids will find this a little bit more tricky and a little bit more challenging, whilst with us, we can just go, hey, you know, you know what I mean. So, the duck has these two. They're not studs, Lego studs, they're, I can't remember what those pieces are called, but these, it's got two eyes on each side. These are not stickers, you also get a spare eye as well for the duck. Uh, perhaps you could have it as a free-eyed duck, I don't know. Uh, you've got these wings, uh, the duck's wings, which easily come off. Well, they do, I think. No, that's falling apart. Ah, there we go. Yeah, the, you actually build these two two of these and then you clip it together to the main part of the duck. Sorry about this, guys. Just building this back. Um. Oh, by the way, guys, let me know in the comments section below what your favourite Batman film is and what your favourite Lego set of all time, whether it's Lego Batman or DC Superheroes, because I'd be interested to know. So, now let's have a look, oh, forgot to mention, uh, you also get a little steering wheel and there's a space for a minifigure, it's obviously for the penguin, to sit in, or you could have anyone sitting there really, even Batman. Uh, so, now let's have a little look at the, or what it looks like when the penguin's sitting in. And here we have the penguin sitting inside the vehicle, and he fits in nice and snug in there. And you obviously can still see him in there. Uh, this piece or what this remote control what the penguin's on does get in the way sometimes but I've what I've learned is is that if you put uh, the penguin's stuff on it yeah I've learned that it or found out that if you put if you click the remote control piece on there and just pretend it's like he could pretend to reach out and then twist the lever down it involves you've got more playability for the Lego Penguin minifigure, obviously, if you're playing this if you're a kid. Playing with this if you're a kid, rather. Sorry. Get my words wrong. Um, so, overall, I mean, the Penguin vehicle is a very, very nice piece to have in the Lego DC Heroes line. Uh, now, I'm not going to do a jump cut or anything. We'll have a look at the final part of the set, which is a block of ice with a jewel, which, obviously... The penguin likes jewels, and as well as his birds, but he really does like jewels, and he always, a bit like Mr. Freeze, he's always after the jewels. Uh, in the box art, it shows the penguins around the jewel, but I suppose what you could do, you know, the brick show have done this, they've always 
they always display them like guarding the jewel against Batman, which you could do, I suppose. But really, I mean, this set overall it really is is a set worth picking up. It's a very nice set. You get two great figures, including two great micro builds. You get some fantastic pieces. You get ooh, you get some two dynamite pieces, which are very nice to have. And you get the penguin with his top hat and his umbrella. You get Batman, a new version of Batman, rather than the same old Batmans we get nowadays. And no stickers as well like i mean if you're a younger kid this set is ideal for you so you don't have to worry about putting these stickers on um what else is there oh yeah you get a jewel you get a gun for batman or not really a gun you know a harpoon gun uh you get a two a, well one of the vehicles is based on the a, a film like which is Batman Returns, so you could perhaps recreate a scene from Batman Returns. Let me know in the comments section below if you have done that. So, all in all, I'm going to give this set a 10. Now, I would have gone a little bit lower. The reason why I would have gone a little bit lower is I think that maybe we should have got one or two more penguins. I think if we'd got one or two more penguins, I probably could have given this 11. Because it's a very, very good set. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give it a 10. Because it's great price. You get two great figures, two good micro builds. You get some very good pieces. And it's just under or just over £10, which is the ideal price, really, for anyone to spend on a Lego set. Because if you never did get the Arkham Asylum set, because it's too expensive, or it's gone now, in stores, I don't know if it is, it's never in the store where I usually get all my Lego and my other stuff, um, if it's not there, perhaps picking this set up would be beneficial to you, because obviously you're still getting a, a Penguin minifigure, albeit not the same one, but it's a new variation, and I probably prefer this Penguin to the one what they had in the Arkham Asylum set. So, and before we close the review, I just want to show you something, now, a lot of these pieces aren't going to be very good or interesting. But these are the spare pieces you get. So you've got the duck eye, and which you could use for eyes. You also get an extra lever and a white piece for ice. And you get some just regular pieces. Uh, you get not as much pieces or spare pieces as you'd get in some of the larger sets. But some of the pieces you could use it for other mocks or, or sets. So, thank you for watching. I hope you comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you've been watching me this past nearly two years now, let me know, or private message me, or you, this, is, this is optional, you don't have to do this. Let me know, is there a set you'd like me to review for my second, an year, second year anniversary? I was thinking of doing a Lego Star Wars set, seeing as that's the, one of, that was my first proper set review I did nearly two years ago uh, if not I probably will might just think about doing a set which is obviously from the Lego Star Wars theme or Lego Batman hint why my channel's called got oh, it's got the title Batman in it but anyway that's up to you guys it's optional you don't have to do it I was just thought it'd be a nice idea for for my fans to get involved in my channel a little bit more, just asking you your opinion. Uh, so, thanks for watching. As I've mentioned, comment, like, and subscribe if you want to. And hope to see you soon. Uh, don't know what my next review will be, but it might be... Mm, actually, no, I'm going to keep it a surprise. Just keep on checking out my channel, and hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. See you later.